Hello, I'm Jenny Watkins and I'm a lecturer in law at Newman University. In the next instalment of our law and criminology video series, um, in recognition and celebration of International Women's Day, I'm going to be talking through um, some of the key historical developments um, regarding women in the legal profession and also considering some of the modern day data um, regarding gender diversity in law and justice. So in terms of the history of the legal profession as a whole, um, you're looking at over a thousand years um, of, of history in terms of the legal profession. Um, in fact, you can go f much further back than that in terms of small village trials um, back in the, the very historic days. Um, so you may perhaps be surprised to hear that actually women have only been permitted to be a part of the legal profession um, for just over 100 years. Um, the key period um, is the, the early 1900s essentially and in 1912 um, Edward Bell made the first proposal to the Law Society that women should be permitted to become solicitors um, and actually this received a, a very hostile response. In 1913 we had a, a very interesting and key case um, in terms of the development because um, Bebb and Law Society was um, a case brought by Gwyneth Bebb and three other women who wanted to take action to get the Law Society to admit them to their preliminary examinations. Um, now, the, the key argument in this case was whether, under the Solicitors Act 1843, whether women could be included in the definition of person. Um, and it, it, for the purposes of that act, and you may be surprised to hear that the, the judges decided um, that actually women could not be included within the definition of person uh, for the purposes of the act um, and effectively held that the legislation did not contain enough of an indication that it was ever intended that women could be included in that definition and therefore um, the women in this case were, were unsuccessful. So it wasn't actually until 1919 uh, and the Sex Discrimination Removal Act passing which then allowed women to enter the legal profession and so this was the the major uh, development really in this area um, and then stemming from this led to many of the firsts for women in the legal profession um, so for example 1922 we had the first woman called to the bar and the first many women admitted as solicitors 1945, uh, first woman appointed to join the judiciary full on a full-time basis. Uh, 1984, first woman to be appointed to the Law Commission, um, which was in fact um, Baroness Hale, um, as she is now. And in fact, Baroness Hale um, has actually had a, a significant impact uh, on, the on the English and Welsh legal profession over the years. So her impact is, is clear to be seen. Um, she was the first woman to join the House of Lords as a Lord of Appeal in Ordinary. She was the first woman Justice of the Supreme Court. Um, in 2013, she was the uh, Deputy President of the UK Supreme Court. And also in 2017, she was appointed the first woman President of the UK Supreme Court, which is, is quite a, a significant achievement. Within that time period, we also in 2014, for the first time, the number of practising solicitors that were f women overtook uh, the number of men by around 600. So that's when they started to see uh, a bigger shift uh, in those statistics. So in the more recent history, um, we've got 2018 where we have the first um, majority or female majority um, case um, heard by the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. This was the case of Reed D, uh, where three out of those five judges were female. So those uh, involved at the time were Lady Hale, as she was uh, then, now Baroness Hale uh, of Richmond, um, Lady Arden and Lady Black. Um, 
2019, we had the uh, centenary anniversary um, of the Sex Disqualification Removal Act, um, which celebrated 100 years of women being able to enter the legal profession. Also in 2019, um, Stephanie Boyce was elected Deputy Vice President of the Law Society and she will also become President of the Law Society uh, this year in 2021 uh, and will be the first um, BAME President uh, and also she is will be a female President of the Law Society too, um, not the first, um, but hopefully there will be many more that follow her. So if we look at the modern day statistics, um, the graphic available here is from the SRA and you can see uh, the source linked below. Um, so in 2019, um, the Solicitors Regulation Authority, the SRA, um, released some statistics uh, regarding the profession. Um, and they found that around 49% um, of lawyers in law firms were female and that 33% were partners and that 60% of solicitors were in-house. Um, this was an increase um, since the 2017 statistics and um, we expect more statistics from the SRA in relation to this. Um, but if we look at some more recently released um, data, um, the link to the Ministry of Justice report um, is at the bottom of the screen there. Um, and these are some statistics released in 2020 um, that actually says that the percentage of solicitors now is uh, 52% uh, in law firms, uh, barristers 38% uh, and legal executives 75%. So women make up a significant proportion of the profession. Now, interestingly, in terms of judicial appointments, 50% um, of applicants are female, um, but only currently, as of the 1st of April 2020, only 32% of court judges uh, and 47% of tribunal judges were female. So there is still um, a, a gap. However, the number of new entrants to the profession and to the judiciary um, are significantly higher proportion of females than they are um, in terms of those who've been in the profession for a significant amount of time. Um, statistically, in terms of partners and those higher up, um, both in the judiciary and law firm, um, the representation of women is lower. Um, but this is something that is likely to change over time due to the fact that the number of new entrants to the profession um, and particularly those um, actually studying law um, are statistically more likely to be female. Also, um, not just in law firms, if, if you look at in-house statistics, um, particularly if those produced in the SRA 2019 report, um, actually 56% um, of lawyers were female um, and 68% of public sector individuals in the legal profession were female um, and of those uh, in the court service 74% uh, and in local government 71 um, so the trend over time um, is improving regarding gender diversity in the profession um, but particularly in terms of the judiciary, we are lagging behind, um, you know, at around 30%. We are in the UK, one of the the lowest um, statistically for women in the judiciary. Um, and hopefully this will change over time. Um, it looks like it will, if you consider the the M MOJ report uh, and the, the fact that the number of people applying uh, and joining the profession are statistically more females. So that was just a brief overview um, of the history of women in the legal profession and some consideration of modern day statistics um, regarding uh, gender diversity in the profession. I'm as usual, if you would like to join the conversation on our social media channels, um, it is both at Newman Uni Law on Twitter and on Instagram. And you can also get in touch via the university's main social media accounts too.
Thank you very much uh, and we look forward to hearing from you.